Hello everyone, welcome to another planty video. It is me Desiree and if you've been on my channel for any amount of time, you probably know how much I love buying plants at the grocery store. They just have the best plants, the best prices, the biggest ones. I just love it so much and recently, move that out of the way, and recently Smith's seems to have just gotten like a dump truck of amazing plants dropped off at their locations. Um, I go there for groceries anyway, so I always like to look at the plants and I've just come to realize that Smith's is where it's at. Like they have the best plants at the best prices. Of course, it's like the companies that they use. I know they use Live Trends and Urban Jungle. There's also another one I always forget to look at. I bet it's on one of these ones I'm gonna show you. Um, a lot of these plants are only $6.99. $6.99, so of course I lost my mind. I lost my mind. I had a whole basket full of plants. I went to multiple locations. I just had to see what they have. So I'm gonna show you all the plants I found. Of course, I'll share the prices with you. Almost all of them were $6.99. I got a couple of other ones that were $12.99, but I'll share those as I go along. So Smith's, where I live, it's called Smith's, but where you live, it might be called something else. Usually it's just Kroger. The Kroger store is where I've got these at, and they're awesome, awesome plants. So let me show you what I got. I'm telling you, it's a lot. I lost my mind. I couldn't believe it. The first one here, this is a Syngonium Wenlandii. This was, <laughs> this was $6.99, I couldn't believe it. Um, I had to double check the price on all the pots because I'm like, there's no way those were $6.99. So this is also called like the Velvet Syngonium. Um, they're kind of using the word velvet a little loosely here. I don't really think this feels velvety. It kind of feels like a lighter version of a black velvet alocasia. Like it doesn't really feel like velvet, but it feels different than all other Syngonium leaves do. And it's so beautiful. This is a plant I never in a million years thought I would see here where I live. Uh, most of these plants I thought I would either buy online eventually or just kind of, you know, love from afar, but never actually see them or own them. This was on my wish list in my heart. I wanted this plant so badly when I saw it, I lost my mind. I lost my mind. I posted it on my community tab right away in case anyone else saw it um, and wanted one. I love it so much. I almost bought another one today. I saw another one today and I was like, I have to have that or I'm gonna die. But no, I have one, $6.99. I couldn't believe it. Don't overlook the grocery store. They've got some good plants. This is another one that I bought. I know most of the leaves are missing on this one, but you know what? I just couldn't stop thinking about this. I think this is a Ficus Altissima, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Some of these had the um, the tags in there with the names on them and a lot of them didn't. And if I didn't show you on this one, they all come in a nursery pot inside of a planter. So $6.99, I couldn't believe it. Oh, look at those roots coming right out of the bottom. Might need to be rearranged there. Anyway, I could not stop thinking about this one. I just love the way it looks. Like, look how it's like sideways like that with all the leaves right at the top. I don't know, I just really loved it. And I walked around the store and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I'm like, I need that, that plant. I just love how it's all bare, like a bare, barky branch with all the leaves right up top. Um, it didn't come in this pot. This is one I got from Target. They have their planters out now in their, you know that section when you first walk in with all the, the stuff? The $5, between $1 and $5 stuff. That's where I got this pot for $5. But this one did come in one of the other kind of pots like the other, the Winlandi I did. $6.99. I know it's not the fullest, but you know what? I just loved the way that it looked so much. I had to have it. Let's put this one over here. Now I just got to find somewhere to put all these. This is one I couldn't stop thinking about. I had to have it. $6.99 also. I thought this was a Tenanthi at first, just because it kind of, it really looks like one. Like it has these elongated leaves with this yellow stripe on them. But I was looking it up online. I think this one is a variegated ginger plant. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that's that's kind of what I found online. And I loved it so much. Like it looks like it's a Tenanthi. Maybe they're kind of related a little bit. Um, I don't know how to care for this one. I've never heard of it. I had to look it up online. So if you have one, let me know the care, but I'm gonna kind of just treat it like the other plants, let it dry a little bit and then water it, give it some light. Most care plant, most plants have the same kind of care-ish, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do for this one. But if you know otherwise, let me know. But I just really liked this one. It does have like the leaves growing, like a new leaf growing out of the stem of the old leaf. So it looks like it's gonna grow in long canes, kind of like a Diffenbachia. Maybe it's related to that, who knows. 
Um, the next one I want to show you, this one wasn't $6.99, but um, it was half off. So normally this was $30. They had this one on clearance for $15. I don't know why, because it looks exactly the same as the other ones they had on the table. This is an air plant. I think this is called Talanzia Xerographica, I think. I had to look it up, of course, because I don't know the name of any air plants. But look how cool this is. Let me move this out of the way. Look how cool this is. So awesome. It just looks like a, I don't know, like a weird squid thing. I think it looks so cool. Um, I thought that this color on the leaves was going to rub off when you touch it, but it doesn't really. I'm assuming if you hit it, like there's some nicks here where it's kind of missing. It just has like a nice little fuzzy texture to it. Um, I had to look this up online because I don't know how to care for an air, an air plant. But apparently you just kind of dunk it in water or you can mist it throughout the week. I brought this home and dunked it in water for about an hour or so and then let it dry overnight upside down on a towel. Because if the water gets in there in the crown, it could cause it to rot. Um, I don't really know how to display this right now, but I have it sitting in this bowl. I used this for potpourri for Christmas and I didn't know what to use it for. So I kind of just put the plant in there. Looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll buy some rocks and stuff. Maybe at the Dollar Tree, they have some nice little bags of rocks and kind of have it displayed like that. That's cute, isn't it? Anyway, I got this there for 15 bucks. It was half off, and I've never seen these seen these before less than $30. So I thought that was that was a steal. I'm telling you, I lost my mind. I had to have everything. Look at this beautiful Calathea. This was also 6.99 comes in one of the planters. Um actually, let me see if there's a name on here. These ones say Select HP Collection Houseplant probably. Thuff's Flower Barn. Oh no. T H E U T.S. Flower Barn. Hmm. I'll have to look that up. Um, but this is one I almost bought at Lowe's a couple months ago. They had a really big one. I think it was from Urban Jungle, but it was $24.99. And I was like, oh, no way. Um, but I saw this there for $6.99. Look how full this is, too. This one is so fuzzy. I just want to keep, like, running my hands through it. The tops and the backs of the leaves and the stems have this little fuzz on them. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. But it's just, like, such a nice soft plant. Um, I'm going to assume this is going to get spider mites like all the other calatheas I have had have gotten. That doesn't make any sense. I have had other calatheas in this style that have gotten spider mites. So I'm going to assume this one's going to get it. The calathea orbifolia hasn't gotten spider mites, which is weird, but I find that the ones that have leaves all like this usually get them. I don't know why that is. But this one, I couldn't leave it there. They did have a bunch of other ones like this, but they were really short. So this one, I'm like, they mean to put that for $6.99. Lots of beautiful plants. Like, it was hard to not buy every single one of them. Although I did try to buy every single one, obviously. Okay, this next one is a plant I've had before. This is a caladium called Hilo Beauty. And I had this during the summer. It's so stunningly beautiful. Look at that. And Caladium's leaves are so, so, so thin. They almost feel like they're made out of skin. They're so thin and beautiful. And I had this one during the summer. Oh, look, it's growing a new leaf. Look at that. Looks like a worm. Does it look like a tomato worm? <laughs> anyway, um, this one got spider mites and I made a mistake and I did spray this with some insecticide or like a um, insecticidal soap. And I think it just really, I think these leaves are way too thin for that because it just like, cooked the leaves like they were so burnt up and dead so the plant did die so when I saw this for $6.99 I had to have it like look how big that leaf is so so cool it has a bunch of little tiny leaves here and a new one growing had to have it okay this next one I don't know why but I felt it in my soul I felt like I was going to find this plant because they had so many beautiful syngoniums like the pink one they had Maria they had Berry Illusion, Holly, they had that beautiful neon one, but I just knew I was going to find a confetti one. I don't know why, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to one more location to see, and I found it. I did pass up the table multiple times, but I just kept looking and I thought, oh my gosh, that's one. So confetti syngonium, is a, it's, it's different than all the other syngoniums, of course, because it's just speckled with pink confetti-like little variegation. I don't know if you can see it, let me find a leaf that has a lot. Maybe right here. You can see, right, the little pink little polka dots all over the leaves. So that's what they call like a confetti, like someone just sprinkled confetti on it. And there was only two there, so it was easy to pass it up because it looks just like a regular like light green one. 
couldn't believe it. $6.99 also came in the planter. So if you have a Smith's near you, go check it out. They are getting so many amazing plants. I'm not even done yet. I have more. This one here is some sort of peperomia. I'm gonna assume it's called watermelon or something like that because the leaves just look like, you know, a watermelon rind. But this doesn't look like the typical watermelon peperomia that I'm used to seeing with like the big round leaves. These ones are a little smaller. They're a lot thicker. They're kind of curled up and they're a little bit of a different shape. So if you know this one, let me know, but I'm going to assume it's also called a watermelon of some sort, but super, super dense and full. I had to have it, but as I was carrying around this plant, just looking around, they had a clearance table and pretty much every Smith's I've ever been to has a clearance table and they mark down plants for what seems like no reason. I got my pink dragon alocasia there. That's doing amazing. It's taller than the window now. It's so good. Got that there for five bucks. They have so many good clearance plants, so I always check it. And I was carrying this one around and I thought I was almost gonna drop this on the ground. I put it down on the table as fast as I could because look what I found on the clearance table. An alocasia cuprea. Look at this plant. I mean, I saw it there and I was like, no way, that's an alocasia cuprea. I had a mask on, so I don't think people could tell that I was talking to myself, but I was talking to myself out loud, like I didn't even care. Look at that leaf, oh my goodness, so beautiful. Doesn't it look like it's oily, like it would be slick with oil? So there's that big leaf there, and then it has a small one right here. I'm guessing they marked this down because there's a stem here with no leaf on it. I don't know why, I'm gonna assume that's why they marked it down, because the rest of the plant looks just fine. This was on clearance for $2.99. Can you believe it? I can hardly believe it. This is another plant that's on the wish list in my heart that I never in a million years thought I would ever see in real life. I can't believe it. I can't believe I saw this. Like, look at it. And there was only one there. I scooped it up so fast. Like I was holding it like somebody else was gonna come steal it from me or something. There is a hole in the leaf here. I'm sure you could see right there. So I'm gonna like look in the plant to see if there's anything in there that might be munching on it. But it looks like it's just some sort of dry spot. Same thing with this one here. Um, there's another, there's a little growth right here in the little crevice of these two stems. But look at that. For $2.99, like get out of town. I couldn't believe it. I was so, so, so excited. And right after I found this is when I went to another location just to see if they had any different stuff. And that's where I found the confetti syngonium. And I did post on my community tab when I was finding these in case anybody was seeing it in real time, they could try to find some of these. But I went to another location just this morning and they had the Winlandii, they had the confetti, they had a bunch of other really great plants. So they're still out there and I feel like they've been replenishing it at least once a week because I've been looking for these plants for two weeks now. Okay, those are all the $6.99 plants. I have a couple now that I got for $12.99. Let me go get them. Okay, this is from, what is this company called again? This is uh, Live Trends. So Live Trends puts out the best, number one, hands down, best hanging baskets out there. They're always $12.99. I've never seen them more than $12.99 and they are humongous. I mean, look at this red Miranda. Look how big, lush, and full this is. $12.99. I can't believe it. Look how lush and full this is. I already have one of these that I bought from Live Trends last year or the year before. And Marantas, although they start out really lush and full, they grow down and hanging. So eventually the top of the plant is gonna get completely bald and that's how mine looks now. So, but it's, hit, it's sitting up on a high shelf so you can't see the top of the plant at all so it still looks nice and full. I can't believe it. $12.99. If you are looking for plants at the grocery store, I hope you start, because look, look what you can find. Oh my goodness. I bought another one, yes. Okay, there's only two plants left. This is a Syngonium Maria. I'm pretty sure this is Maria. This was also $12.99 from Live Trends. Look how big this is. Doesn't this look like a shrub you would have outside planted like in a big urn on your porch? Look how dense this is. Like you can't even get in there. You can't see the soil at all. It's so lush and full. Just absolutely stunningly beautiful. I did see a lot of these there even this morning. So if you got a Smith near you or a Kroger, go check it out. I can't believe it. Look how dense. <gasps> I knocked a leaf off. That was already off, I think. Beautiful. I could not leave this there. I love it. It's, it's gorgeous so much. 
And when I brought this home, my boyfriend was like, is it supposed to be brown like that? And when I first saw this plant, I thought the same thing. I thought it was dying or something, but it's just the way that it looks. It's like a dark green, brown color. Look how dense. I love it. I love it so much. Again, $12.99. Can you believe it? Okay, we have one more. This plant that I'm going to show you now took my breath away. This wasn't, okay, I was going to say this was an impulse purchase, but who am I kidding? All of these were impulse purchases. This one here is a snake plant. It's probably three feet tall. It was also $12.99. Um, I, I bought mine for $19.99 because I think they just got the plants and didn't know the prices yet. Um, but the very next day or the day after, they had a humongous display with $12.99 signs everywhere. I went and got one for my grandma too. They sold out so fast because I went back the very next day all of them were gone. All of them were gone. I had to go to another location to find her one. Let me show you how tall this thing is. Okay, I don't really know how I'm gonna get that on camera, but I'll insert some pictures here. Uh, sitting flat on the ground, it's about a foot, six inches to a foot taller than the doorknob. And it's a beautiful plant, straight, tall. And uh, they had the snake plants there for $12.99. They also had some humongous Diffenbachia, I mean huge for $12.99. And then another plant that I'm thinking was a philodendron, Salome, that one. Uh, beautiful, huge mature leaves again for $12.99. And then they had, I don't know what this one's called, I feel like it's a Dracaena with those two like long cane, like those thick canes with the plant on the top like this. It looks like a, a yucca of some sort or a palm tree. They had those ones, $12.99. I couldn't believe it, great deals, amazing plants. That is it. Those are all of the plants I bought recently, like over the last couple of weeks. I couldn't help myself. I lost my mind. I was just like scooping them all up, finding wish list, wish list plants after wish list plants. Okay, I almost forgot one. This beautiful, perfect bromeliad. Look how beautiful this is. This was also clearance. It was $5.95. It's a Costa Farms plant. It's in one of their like matte white planters. I do like this planter a lot more than the glossy one they put out. Uh, but this was only $5.75 and it looks perfect. I know it's kind of hard to show without cutting my face with it. Perfect bromeliad, beautiful. We have this one just sitting in front of the window in the living room. And I love it so, so much. It's so nice. So now that is it. Those are all the plants I bought. Check out your local Smiths or Kroger's for these plants. I'm sure they're all kind of getting the same-ish deliveries. Uh, let me know what you've been finding. Do you shop at the grocery store? Do you always just kind of pass up the plants because you assume they're not going to be good? But let me know. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below. Uh, but that is it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss my next one. And I will see you later in another video.